and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a Facebook ad campaign or an Instagram ad campaign to promote your music specifically on Spotify and it's actually pretty straightforward but the reason I'm creating a new video because I've already done a video on this is because the interface has changed quite a lot and Facebook wants you to go in a certain direction which I don't particularly like and I can show you how to bypass all of that and to get your targeting right on the money so you can bring in some relevant algorithmic data that really benefits Spotify. So let's get started. First thing you'll need is a Facebook account. You need a Facebook account linked to your artist account and you probably do need an Instagram. Well, you definitely need an Instagram account that's linked to your Facebook account. So let's click on create. And as soon as you click on create, you have all of these campaign objectives. The two conversion campaign objectives are engagement and sales. And I don't like engagement that much because engagement just gets you lots of comments. And I'm not really a fan of that. I want people to just click. <laughs> so clicking on sales is the objective we're going to use for our campaign. Now, the other thing you're going to see here directly, and to be really careful about this, is you don't want this Advantage Plus shopping campaign. We're not selling anything. This is not a shopping campaign. We want to do a manual sales campaign. So let's click at that item like that click continue so the way this is laid out straight away is you can see these three levels you've got the campaign level you've got the ad set level and the ad level now where it's blue is corresponding to what you see here on the form so because it's blue there and you want to say change the name of the campaign which is the high level campaign you can actually overwrite what it's called and this one's called dreams campaign I'll call it dreams campaign number two because I've already created a dreams campaign and this is a campaign level so all of the money is in your campaign is set at that level Level. and underneath that you've got the ad set level and the ad set level you can have multiple ad sets you can have one for people who live in a certain country you can have an ad set for certain ages or for certain interests right so you can create as many ad sets as you want and in addition to that you can create underneath each ad set as many ads as you want so that's kind of the video that you show people so you may want to show five or six different ads just to see which one performs the best and you might want to have lots of ad sets just to see which ones perform them so the more work you put into this I think the better it is for your campaign but you don't want to really go overboard I think setting up up to five ad sets is probably enough and up to three different ads for each ad set is enough but if you want to just start you can just create one ad set and one ad and that's what we're going to do today so what we want to do is leave all of this stuff here alone and the only thing really of interest at this moment is the advantage campaign budget at the moment that's set to off and what that means is the budget will be at the ad set level so each ad set will be worth a certain amount of budget per day five pounds ten pounds whatever per day but if you click this on it will spend the money at the campaign level and allocate it over all of the ad sets below and Facebook will decide which ad set will get the most money that's why I like the ad set level because you will then give each ad set a specific amount of money so let's click on next and that's going to take us to the ad set. As soon as it does that, the ad set becomes blue. You've got an ad set name, which I'll just leave alone. I won't touch that. We don't want to touch any of these conversion buttons here. We don't want to touch the performance goal. That's quite advanced and it's something I don't do. But what you do want is a pixel. If you don't have a pixel, you're going to have to learn how to set one up because I think you, well, you definitely need a pixel to do a conversion campaign. I'm going to just show you my pixels. I've got lots of pixels and each pixel contains information about your audience. So the longer the pixel exists for and the more you warm it up and the more data that's in it the better it is I'm just going to use my main pixel for pop music and the next thing I'm going to do is select conversion event now I'm using tone den today so I'm going to use something called view content view content is just something that comes with tone den leave the rest of it alone this is where you set your daily budget 20 pounds a day is a lot for each ad set especially when you're beginning it depends how much you want to put in but I'm going to always start with five and then the other thing that's really crucial is to put an end date in because you don't know if you're going to get hit by by a bus if you're going to go to hospital if you're going to go into a coma or if you're going to die you don't know what's going to happen to you and the last thing you want is facebook meta spending your money every single day for you know 100 days or forever now the new versions of meta and facebook ads the audience controls are kind of hidden and buried a little bit so what we want to do is click on edit here and what you can do here is add a new place so for example you can add france you want to add different countries but if you really want you can add cities but most people tend to add countries now as you can see here there's quite a lot of countries in the world and you want to maybe do this a bit faster so i click on browse and i click on save locations and i might for example click on rich 
countries and you can see here all the, the rich countries that I've set up but each one of these is a preset list and the way to do that is just click on create list like this and then click on countries like that and then you can go in and set up using comma all of the countries that you want something like this when we click on match locations the system will just match all of the locations that you got and then you can add the locations to a list and th at this point in time you'll give the list a name or we'll call it Europe and save the list. So that way when you go in and look for Europe, you can see straight away that these has all of the countries that you previously set up in the list. So it's much faster to set up locations in the future. The other thing you wanna do is set up your audience. Once again, Facebook Meta have kind of hidden in this new version of Ads Manager. So we wanna click on switch to original audience and don't worry about their warning, just click on use original audience like that. When we're talking about audience, we want to always select Spotify here. If you're not interested in Spotify, you want to say use Tidal or Apple, type those in instead. Then the other thing you might want to do is define further your targeting. So say for example, your song sounds like Drake. Mine doesn't sound like Drake. You can then click on suggestions like this and it will suggest other artists or other genres and you can use them in your targeting. So remember, it's targeting Spotify first and then it's narrowing down to all of these different artists below. The other thing you can change is the age. Some people are not comfortable with 18 to 65, some people like just to go up to 45 or even 40. Some people don't like to start at 18 because 18 year olds may not like your music. They might want to start at 21. So it's up to you how you define the age. I tend to leave all genders on and make sure you set up your placements. Once again, placements are kind of hidden here. Make sure you've selected manual placements like that. Now this is quite hidden and hard to find and I don't know why they've done that, but they just have. You have to always switch off audience network and messenger. Those two are going to eat up your budget and are going to be not very helpful. And the other thing that I have found, and this is now down to you and your personal feelings, but I tend to switch feeds off completely and then just click stories and reels. I get rid of in-stream ads. They're all switched on by default. So you really got to switch them off. Everything else has to be switched off. Now I do not have Instagram reels, Facebook reels and messenger stories on. I just have Facebook stories and Instagram stories. All of my budget is going to those two stories and no reels. And the reason for that is because reels just get a lot of content like people just messaging me or saying wow this looks good and I don't think that's what I want <laughs> uh, what I want is people to click on the story and go to my Spotify and stories are very good on your mobile phone and that's where most of these people are going to be on a Facebook feed could be useful and maybe even an Instagram feed if you want to show different type of content or if you want to have your content shown on a PC and not so much on the phone but for me Instagram stories and Facebook stories are enough so once you've done all that you can click on next and then you've got the section where you can set up your ad your sales ad you can have multiple ads so for example you can have ads with a video and add with a different part of the song and add with just pictures you know you can do all sorts of ads and you can have as many ads as you want under each ad set so let's for example go into ad and have a look at what we can do first thing you want to do is set up your identity so you want to make sure that you've got the right Facebook page so in my case here I might want to change to glow wave which is one of my groups and then go all the way down until you get to the ad creative this is where you're going to put your video or your picture click on add media add video or add image now I've got my previous videos showing here so I can just select one here but you can also upload your own so click on next keep clicking until you get to the end remember the video has to be the right format so if it's going to be an Instagram story it needs to be the right format for stories and here you've got preview of how it would look in Instagram and Facebook as stories which is nice and we want to leave everything alone except for call to action. We want to change that to listen now. Everything else stays the same. The destination is where you're going to send the people who have clicked on your ad. The best thing to do is to send them to a landing page. Now I will send them to Tone Den because Tone Den is a free area to create landing pages. Now. I'm not going to go into too much detail into how I set up my landing page on Tone Den, but once it is set up, you can just take the link like that and just, well, by the way, that's how the landing page looks and just paste that into the website URL. Everything else you can leave alone and then you can click publish. If you want to say create another ad set which has all of the targeting information that you have here, but say you want this ad set to go to only tier three countries or you want it to go to target different artists, 
All you have to do is click on quickly duplicate. The difference between quickly duplicate and duplicate is in duplicate you can set the amount of duplicates, but in quickly duplicate it will just literally copy everything and say copy, and then you can go in and say tweak whatever you want, and then you've got a distinctive ad set. What copying the ad set will do is also copy the ad underneath. And once again, you can also quickly duplicate the ad. So you've got all the settings for the ad, including the identity settings already done, and you, all you have to do is just change the ad by clicking edit media change video so what's really cool about that is you can do it quite a lot so for example you can select two different ad sets by pressing control and select and you can actually edit two different ad sets that way so you can edit in bulk so that's pretty good so that's pretty much my process for Facebook ads and it does work pretty well there's quite a lot more that you have to do like create the ad and you've got to create the landing page thank you if you've got any questions please feel free to reach out bye